So today we'll talk about Yuna. We'll try to find out more about her and what people think about her. We'll use big data technology and of course uh, use the results from the website celeptide.com. Now, Yuna has become a famous, popular actress, but if you go back into uh, her career, she actually kicked off as a member of Girls' Generation, so as a singer. And talking about Girls' Generation, maybe I can ask you, Fox, did you have a favorite member? <laughs> I did have a favorite member when they came out, and personally, I like Taeyeon. Even lately with her new mini album and her cute <laughs> little blonde hair, I have to say I'm quite the fan, but, but Yuna's good too. Yuna's good. I agree with you. What about you, Adrian? <laughs> Um, well, so many members. I think I liked Suyong a lot. Of course, Yuna wasn't too far in my personal ranking. Uh, so we'll talk about her, but she was always at the center. And I think uh, for Korean guys, she was probably the number one. I definitely agree with you. And she was actually the first member to start acting too. Did you guys remember that? Yeah, I kind of remember that. She was actually taking on the lead role for a daily TV drama and she was able to grow her fan base. But my question is, so what made her and what makes her stand out more uh, compared to the other members of Girls' Generation? Well, I mean, there's a ton of girls in Girls' Generation, so let's <laughs> take a look at what netizens are saying about what makes her stand out personally. We have some keywords like her looks and her eyes, and especially her huge Chinese fan base. Yeah, well, um, we'll talk about those words, of course. There's one thing I have to mention. Every time she um, was on stage with the group, she was always at the very center. I always remember that. And also, the keyword, her eyes, really stood out to me. And this is because Yuna's nickname is Hasem, which means deer or doe, and she's known for her big doe-like <laughs> eyes, and I'm really jealous of her. Well, you have big eyes too. Not as big as hers though. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's okay, don't worry. Um, yeah, so at the center, I guess I'm kind of at the, the center. You're the center You're of the Yuna, Yuna of showbiz career. <laughs> at the center too, right? With your big doe eyes. <laughs> <Dun -dun. laughs> okay, well, good luck to uh, Yuna, of course. Uh, Chinese fans are going crazy. Um, so that was also one of the keywords, Fox, right? Chinese fans, probably because of the Chinese production, uh, God of War Cao Yun, right? Well, that is actually right, Adrian. She has a huge Chinese fan base, you know, thanks to that show. So we took a look at Chinese portal sites to find out, you know, what they were saying about her and who is the most famous Hollywood star in China at the moment. So let's take a look. You can see that in 2014, Yuna was outranked by other Hollywood stars, but most recently, according to data polled in April 2016, Yuna was searched the most on this portal, more than Song Hye Kyo, Park Shin and even Jeon Ji Hyun. Yuna has definitely become the new Hallyu darling of China, as uh -huh. you guys can tell. And not too long ago, a fan took a photo of Yuna on the subway, and everyone was staring at her, but she looked like she didn't really care. It was such a cool shot of her. Mm -hmm. Yeah, very natural. I guess she's known um, as a very friendly celebrity. Um, according to Chinese fans. There's actually a little story. Um, this one fan came up to her or tried to come up uh, to her, approach her, but her manager kind of like blocked the fan. Mm -hmm. But Yuna told, hey, it's okay. And uh, <laughs> she actually talked a little bit uh, with this fan and she was heard also greeting this fan in Chinese, which I thought was pretty nice. That's really sweet of her. Yeah, actually, I heard about that story, so I did a little bit of research and Yuna's actually becoming quite fluent in Chinese. While she was preparing for her Chinese drama, God of War, Zhao Yun, you know, she actually studied Chinese enough that so she can make jokes in Chinese. So I think that's pretty cool and I think that her fans find that to be even cooler. So she's becoming quite, you know, Miss Popularity <laughs> over there in China. <laughs> well, definitely a fan favorite, that's for sure. And I think we should really respect, you know, her hard work and her dedication over there. A lot of people started off as a K-pop Yuna fan, but I think now they see her more as, as an actress, right? Mm -hmm. Yes, well, let's take a look at what draws people to Yuna's acting skills versus her as a singer. So in fourth place, we have vigorous work ethic and her sweet voice. Second place, it's that innocent face and action acting, which we'll talk about in just a second. And in first place, it's her refreshing and vivacious nature. 
Now, when I saw action acting, I was a little confused. I mean, Yuna's very sweet and charming, but in her Chinese drama, she was caught doing all these action moves, you know, kicking butt and doing all these cool <laughs> moves. So I think that's kind of where it comes from. Well, just by looking at her, you would never guess that because she's so thin and fragile looking. And in first place was her refreshing and vivacious nature. Do you guys like that about her? I do. I'm, I'm quite the mind. fan of that. <laughs> very fresh, bubbly, and natural. A very cute image as well. I don't know if uh, you remember some of her previous dramas like uh, Love Rain or also The Prime Minister and I. She really knows how to conquer the hearts of her fans. So we all know that Adrian's a fan of Yuna. <laughs> I definitely remember Love Rain too, and she played two different characters in that drama. And she also does that in God of War, Zhao Yun. And it's really impressive because that's such a hard thing to do. I agree with you. She seems seems to uh, mature and to keep growing with all her roles. Now, Fox, let me ask you, is she uh, working on anything right now? She actually is working on a movie right now with the actor Hyun Bin. So I know a lot of people are excited wow. about that. And it's a spy thriller, so maybe we can see more of those, you know, action scenes in there. Hyun Bin, that's a pair up I'd definitely like to see, so I'll be waiting for that a movie. A super hot, <laughs> a super hot couple there. Hyun Bin and Yuna. And Yuna. Um, I think uh, we also have some data about uh, her best male co-stars. Mm -hmm. Can you tell us about that? Well, I got that information for you guys, so let's take a look at Yuna's best potential co male star mashups. We have the Taiwanese actor Bolin Chen, and in fourth place, we have Kim Soo Hyun. Third place is EXO member Do Gyeong Soo. Second place is Bak Bo Gyeom. And in first place, to no surprise to anyone, it's the actor Song Joong Gi. And of I mean, course. this guy's <laughs> name just keeps popping up everywhere. He really shows up <laughs> everywhere, especially on our show. Well, I love Song Joong Gi, of course, and I love Yuna, but I think them as a couple, they're a little too similar. They're both very pale, they're both what? very clean cut. So I don't She's think they'd be happy. a good couple. They, I think I should be Song Joong Gi's co star. Yeah. I think everyone disagrees. <laughs> Agrees, and I think uh, the whole world would be very happy to see them together. So we're talking about potential, you know, on-screen couples here. We don't want to spread false rumors. They're not going to work in any movie or any drama yet. Yes, that's basically it. Mm -hmm. uh, but thank you very much for coming in and sharing your information with us today. Yeah, it was great. I mean, talking about Yuna and learning a little bit more about her, I was able to admire, you know, her extremely strong work ethic. I mean, she's flying between Japan, China, Korea, going all over the place to meet her fans and to give us, you know, the great work that we want to see from her. And so I think in the future, we can have a lot to expect from her and we just keep pushing her along. She'll keep giving us her best. That's right. Keep supporting Yuna and keep an eye out for her new movie temporarily titled Mutual Cooperation, the one with Hyunbin, right guys? Yeah, that's right. So let's continue on and root for our Yuna. <laughs> Are you not right? <laughs> well, thank you very much, Fox, for all your details, your hard work. We'll see you next week for another edition of Celebometer. That's right. I will be back next week again for all the celebrity information that you guys want. So, see you guys next week. All right. See you soon. Yeah. Thanks a lot. Thank you.